<laughs> no, but we've got a, another show. I mean, another one you directed every single episode of, and it's long run on television. And it's quite a groundbreaking show. It really made a difference in attitudes in this country, and I think in, in a lot of ways. But it was a hilarious comedy. And uh, why don't I just bring them out? You'll know who they are. Will and Grace and Karen are here. Eric McCormick, Deborah Messing, and Megan Mullally. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Hello. Oh my God, she's so tall. Look at the Jimmy. This is so great, honey. This, I don't, I, 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 you directed every episode. I don't think I ever missed one of Will and Grace. <laughs> I mean, that show was good from the first episode to your final episode. It never lost the quality, and, and it was just so great. Every yeah. single episode, that was the amazing thing. I don't think that was the first time, right? That you that was, that. I think yeah. it maybe the first time anyone's ever done that. Yeah. It was yeah. so incredible. I had, I had How had did a that come about that you decided to do that? Well, uh, I, uh, every Tuesday night, I, was, I would grab my crotch a number of times. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was. Sometimes laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Newhart was gone. <laughs> uh, no, it was just uh, probably the funniest show I ever did. Uh, it was, the, the, the jokes were off the world, off out of this world. The, the, uh, it was uh, a fairy tale, literally and figuratively. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, uh, you know, a lot of the references, a lot of the references were references that I didn't get. You know, I had to ask my wife uh, a lot. What, are, you know, I remember in the pilot, uh, uh, they, uh, uh, they, because they would change jokes between the takes, and they, uh, uh, Deb came in, and then Sean, Max, Max much said to Sean, say, here, oh, it's Sporty Spice, and I turned to my wife, and I said, uh, she said. Trust me, <laughs> you know, because she knew the reference. I had no idea what a Spice Girl was, and uh, it got a big laugh. So even though I didn't, uh, the boys who wrote it, Max and David, were, uh, uh, you know, I was working hard in the 80s. They were growing up in the 80s. So <laughs> it, it, the jokes were just, just through the roof, just through the roof on that show. It's amazing. Eric, this must have been a dream job for you to get to do this, this show. Well, totally, and I, I think I auditioned six times before I got to this level, and I didn't even know about that until right before it was like, we have to see you one more time. I said, really, one more time? I said, yeah, Jim Burroughs needs to see you, and I, you know, I fell over and wet my pants. That's, <laughs> that, changed, that changed the game. The knowing, knowing that he, was, uh, that he was on board made it that kind of show, and it was, uh, it was incredibly exciting. And, th and then we, once I was on board, we had to find Grace. Everybody wanted her, but it was a month before we even took the chance because she was not available. But the, the story I'll have to tell is, is at your house, we finally, finally got down to three graces. There was really only one, but, but uh, I didn't know. We hadn't worked together. We hadn't met. And, no. and uh, one girl came in, and it was, it, they, they couldn't know about each other, right? There was this <laughs> yeah. whole espionage thing that we had to keep it so the girls... You're the only one You're the only one best today. On a Sunday, <laughs> on a Sunday at Jim Burroughs' house, and then Warren Littlefield was there, and all the network says, and this one girl came in, and she was, she was okay. And then uh, Nicolette Sheridan came in uh, to read for Grace, and she was wearing the tightest pants you'd ever seen. <laughs> And she and I did this thing which was clearly not, not meant to be the show. And she, we finished and she said, anybody, anything, a any thoughts? And, and Jim Burrow said, next time wear tighter pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Only, only you could get away with that line. And then this one comes in and it was, uh, there was a TV show. What about for you, Deborah? I mean, this, uh, you know. Oh, it was, it, it was all surreal because I was on another TV show, that, the very, very popular um, drama Prey on ABC, <laughs> where I played a bioanthropologist. I'm sure everybody knows. So yeah. And, um, and I, you know, I was exhausted. And I remember going to his house and thinking, oh, my God, I'm in Jim Burroughs' house. This is Jim Burroughs my whole life. All I've wanted is to work with Jim Burroughs, and I was so intimidated. And then we went in and we played, and we had the best time together because he put us at ease immediately. And 
he walked me out to the to the car and he's like you got to do the show <laughs> <laughs> and i was like jimmy i i i i don't i don't know i i don't know he goes you're never going to find a show as good as this one you got to do the show and he was right thank thank god mm -hmm. thank god it was uh, changed, obviously it's changed my life. It changed all of our lives. Changed a lot of lives. Megan, I mean for you, this, this, you and Sean also, Sean couldn't be here, he's got another show now, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which you did the pilot of actually. Did, yeah. yeah, Sean Saves the World, right. you just directed yeah. that pilot. Had a great time. Yeah, uh, but uh, what was this like for you, uh, playing Karen? Well, um, I originally auditioned for Grace and they were like, no. <laughs> 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 and so I went home and forgot all about it. And then two weeks later, my agent called and said, I had an audition for Will and Grace. And I said, I already auditioned for that, dumbass. And she was like, no, for a different part, dumbass. And I said, oh. Um, so I read it, and I thought, well, I don't know. And then I thought, well, maybe if I played around with it a little bit. And then I went in, and I had met Jimmy once before because I did How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying on Broadway and um, I had met Jimmy after the show because his dad famously wrote the book for it and I thought Jimmy was a little intimidating and I too soiled myself <laughs> Tad. But now then, available on eBay <laughs> <laughs> then I did go in and audition for the role of Karen which in the pilot was you know one scene I think and uh, very different from what it became later. The role was very different in the pilot. And um, Jimmy was extremely gracious and wonderful. And we just had so much fun. Like we spent, we did 196 episodes, I think. And we just, every week, we just laughed our asses off. And <laughs> Jimmy and I can just remember specifically, like so many times that we just worked out physical business. Like the thing they showed, um, approved, uh, denied, denied, approved. Mm -hmm. I remember that like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. We came <laughs> up with that bid and all of the slap fights with me and Sean, like choreographing the hose. And I just, uh, it was just so much fun. To, uh, woo, wow. <laughs> Darth, Darth Vader. <laughs> it was just so much fun to work out all that physical comedy and everything else and I hadn't really ever done comedy on that level and never really thought of myself as being particularly amusing so you brought that out in me because mm. I was I was almost 40 when we started that show I couldn't believe all the stuff you got away with on this show I mean did NBC have censors we, at that time it was they did. Some, uh, unbelievable yeah we fought for me to say uh, to lean over the, uh, an aisle in a church and say eat me to mini driver <laughs> <laughs> and we got it in. Well, it was also the, 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 the bit where Minnie Driver was stealing stuff from yeah. Yeah. Costanza. Oh, and, and it came out and, of her. And, and just kept going, and, and, and she just kept taking up bracelets, bracelets, rings, and finally she just stood up and just, very short skirt, and just spread her legs and out dropped. <laughs> Wait, uh, diamond, 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 Out dropped something else, and then I said, one more, and, and then she, and then another one dropped. <laughs> 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 her butt. <laughs> is that, that a quadruple that would never, that that? They would never let that know, would they? Oh, sure. Sure they would. Oh, yeah. Everything is a lot dirtier yeah. now than it was then. Well, and Grace paved the way. I well, mean, definitely. Yeah. You took it Something to a to different level. Something to be proud level. of. I, again, it was... Uh, Hillary falling well, out of people's butts. Yeah, Will and Grace was a, f it was a fantasy, you know? I mean, it was, you know, I called it a fairy tale, but it was a fantasy in a strange kind of way. And... Uh, it was good that we couldn't use the actual words because the euphemisms were so much funnier than the words. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it, it was just, we got away with a lot, but it was in all, all in good fun. Yeah. Yeah. The crucial thing to a show like that is, is the way Jimmy works, which is that from 10 o'clock on, say, a, th a Thursday and Friday, from 10 o'clock till about 1 when the writers see the show, we're in this magic little sandbox, and it was just, it's, you know, it's us and, and the props guys, and, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're not shooting it yet, so we can work it out, and, and Jim can throw stuff at us, and we can throw stuff back, and it really was, that was, that's my greatest memory, is just how relaxed you always were and allowed us to be. Mm -hmm. But also, you just said something, from 10 o'clock until 1, okay, that's the other thing about Jimmy. <laughs> 
Yes, he needs to he get had a to golf the golf game. course. He had a golf so game too. We so. worked a total of like a, we had like a twenty-hour work week, <laughs> so it was a pretty good job. Look what, yeah, but what what was on the screen? That was you know. Yeah, well, the writing. I mean, even our worst script, I think, was better Halloween than one? most a lot of shows. <laughs> best <laughs> what? The Halloween one. Yeah. Stone Stone Soup. Stone st Stone. Oh, Stone Soup. <laughs> But speaking, speaking of the, your, how Jim works, my favorite Jim Burroughs story, it was the first, end of the first season, and I stayed on the lot a little longer than usual, and it was like 3 o'clock, and I saw Jimmy. And, and I, what's he doing here? He should be on a golf course. I said, Jimmy, what are you, what are you doing? He said, oh, I was just talking to the boys about uh, <laughs> what we're going to do with your character next year. And I said, next year? I, I like the sound of that. And he said, Jesus Christ, McCormack, buy a house. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I have a funny story of that ilk. Um, the, well, I met uh, I met my now husband, Nick Offerman, um, right between the second and third uh, the second and third seasons of Will and Grace. And I think the third season after things had really gotten going, we decided to take a trip to Paris on our like Christmas hiatus. And so I had been living in the same duplex in West Hollywood for 16 years, and when I found out how much plane tickets to Paris were, Nick found out, and he was like, oh, no, no, we're, just gonna, we're not going to fly first class because it was thousands of dollars. And um, so we decided we were going to fly coach. And so Jimmy somehow learned that fact during rehearsal one day and told me, came in the next morning and said, honey, and I can't do Jimmy as well as you can, <laughs> but... Um, uh -huh. You, here, I'll give you the line and you say <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to set it up. Okay, and he's going to be Jim. So, so that's it, that's stand for it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's directing now? <laughs> so, so Jimmy the next day said, <laughs> Jimmy the next day said, that he had gone home uh, to his wife, Deb, and thrown open the door and dropped his brief, briefcase. <laughs> oh, no, actually, Deb told me this later. Threw the door open, front door, drops his briefcase on the ground and yells out, Megan's flying coach. <laughs> <laughs> Eric McCormick, Deborah Messing, and Megan Mullally. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's great. Oh yeah, baby. That's great. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. We'll see you later. Yes. Thanks, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is funny. Um,